long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. was in the era of the dice wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery our story begins later in Wandcroft a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my... Uh! Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <coughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! <laughs> hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Odd, wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now! Incredible! 
Another do it, sis. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Random rules. Random rules. That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of yes. random. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. All the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to them. Ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dies has deigned to fix the fate of your office. And joy, yes, joy that Even odd. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. <sighs> And the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. It had been settled. At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Vaught's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen, up in the Sixer's palace, where, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. He even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her, a portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas, and then drowned in the eighth. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great-great-great-grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. Odd shoes. Little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by even. She never wanted to forget her sister. The scariest painting Evan's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who'd ventured too far from home. Although she'd been gone a year, so much in this house still reminded Evan of her sister, Odd. Others had told her the pain would fade. at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. figure seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof! Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling. You're trying to find your sister, aren't you? I'm afraid the past is the past, child. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. Wait up! Please! Wait up! This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family lived. Like all Warners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm all out of potatoes. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow. Whoa. Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. <laughs> I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, even. Hey, shut up. You seem 
seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> Ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. She's in the queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. And I think you should give up on her, even. She's a sixer now. Nobody ever comes back from that. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Ah, uh, come on! Or whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Random rules. Well, 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 look at you. I see ghosts all around us, child. Ghosts of the way the world used to be, and how it could be still if the Queen were ever to die. But of course she can't. She can never die. <laughs> You've heard the good news, haven't you? The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her, because you know her rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> She's never wrong. She makes the rules, random rules, and they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me, up riding a shining spider stallion, notices my love for her, notices my worship. You can't escape her, you know. No one can. It's all perfectly designed. I'd love every minute of it. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home. The only home even had ever known. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two-sided. figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time.
even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself. Well, heck, let me take a look. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got gone straight from the factories and five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, that was before the war. A lot changed that night. We're still dealing with the consequences. Yeah, look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into... Uh, into whatever this is now. The most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometime.
no, no, no. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. No, go away. Who am I? Who are you barging in here demanding who I am? Oh, I'm even too. Even less interested in letting you in. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber. My realm of ad lubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. It means something that's delightful. Like my room here. I... I... Wow. You really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no... Well, come on! There's got to be other spots. Go find them. Oh, for the love of... Ugh. Fine, fine, you little... little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. You regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet like and don't do anything. Shh, sh quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find Miss Hudden, see? I made it for the cardmaker district, uh, Five Tropolis, or whatever the queen's calling it these days. And... Quiet, kid, or you'll ruin the whole thing. Just, just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. The moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Art was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. Your home. It's where you belong. There's no time. No time? No time. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea?
Everything's better with tea. Tea fixes everything, Even. Listen to your mother, Even. It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, Even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, Even. We'll always be here, Even. You'll always be her, Even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The Queen will find you. They... they were denying you your future, robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. Wake up! Wake up, girl! No, 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 no. This whole time ship's falling apart, Tatum. Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. One of these bad boys! <laughs> As even lost sight of Herman, she realized she'd also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay. Still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. <sighs> Find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. Place. 